Welcome to Xbox Corner, my name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at Escape Academy on the Xbox Series X, a puzzle game set around the world of escape rooms with a narrative twist, but is it worth your time and does the creativity here break out? Well that's what I'm here to find out, so hit subscribe, join us here on Xbox Corner for reviews, deals and Game Pass breakdowns weekly, and let's get started. Story then and here we open the game at what is a downtrodden escape room, the idea simple and this goes for the entire game, find a way out of this room before the timer expires and this early example you'll have it wrapped in a few minutes. Exiting to the lobby though you quickly realise it actually extends to this room as well, get through it though and you enter what is a secret subway system. So here we are quickly introduced to the headmaster of Escape Academy. She's invited you to partake in the curriculum and those that succeed you earn these 10 badges to basically graduate. They often go on to the most prestigious of jobs, think spies or maybe government agents. You accept though and it is off to school, you go along the way you'll be meeting a decent selection of characters, it's sprinkled with a tongue in cheek sense of humour and it gives a decent little backstory to this world and almost think secret society. Now I wouldn't be coming here for the story directly but it's definitely a unique spin that worked for me throughout. You can also explore the academy between escape rooms, a simple map system and chat with those around you just for that extra layer of depth but this is all left down to the player's choice, it is not forced upon you if it is not your thing. Gameplay then and as per the opening this is a set of progressively challenging escape rooms, it's over a dozen rooms total and the game is broken down into chapters or I see them as essentially semesters. The main goal is collect the 10 badges which confirm your graduation from this academy. The controls then, they couldn't be more simple. Movement, that's with the left stick, you can click and hold it to sprint, A acts as an interaction command and then you can get hints to act on a cool down timer with the X button, also the Y button that opens your inventory. Should you need let's say an item on screen for reference as well from that inventory, you can pin it with a tap of the Y button and that is absolutely, you know, invaluable. It really is everything you need though, nice and simple and then in the options you'll find cursor and movement sensitivity options should you want to tweak things. I would also recommend this as both myself and Luke found it to feel just a tad on the sluggish side and while we never got it to be what I would call a perfect, we did both get a comfortable setting. The game's design though it's going to throw all sorts of crazy ideas at you and the freedom that video games provide the escape room format they definitely work. Some early examples, a room that slowly fills with water, a room that fills with gas, a milkshake that's out to poison you in a kitchen unlike any other. Basically it's creative not only with its settings but also the motivation behind the escape. A couple of personal favourites was a technology focused location where you're battling an AI or an art studio which really pushed mine and Luke's limits as we dove into co-op. This game on that note you can play single player which is no doubt the hardest given the fact you need to leverage all of that brain power you know on your own but by far the most enjoyment you'll find here that is in co-op you can play local two player or even online two player as well. Perhaps the most unique setup of this two player though the fact that even online it leverages a vertical split screen. At first we wasn't really sure about this but as we got into the game it makes absolute sense. We could see each other's screen, we could advise if we've already investigated something in this location. Then also we can do things like overlook an action or maybe zoom in on let's say a key that could help with progression. Combine this then with voice chat and it honestly feels great. The escape rooms then as well as I said they do come with a specific timer that you need to escape by and a 1 to 5 key ranking, noting that difficulty you can expect and I was really impressed with the difficulty curve, it felt just right but even at its most difficult, yeah it basically really pushes the boat out here at times but when I did get a solution it almost always felt obvious and that it made absolute sense, I'd call that a sign of quality in its design, basically it's always logical, it is never obscure. If that all sounds a little too intimidating though, maybe you can't figure it out in time, do not worry, the bonus of 
being a video game format you can actually continue and extend the timer and that was definitely a welcome addition instead of going back all the way you know to the beginning the more continues you use though and the hints the lower your score of each escape room gets that's because they're accompanied with a rundown of what you solved and all of those corners cut it's finally then completed with what is essentially a school grade advising on that skill level that you displayed that for sure for us drove to kind of a sense of we don't want to use hints let's try and figure this out ourselves the gameplay idea though it is actually addictive the loops pretty much the same every time enter location investigate search for items start to figure out a pattern and then once you've kind of completed the hunt element it turns into more you know brain powered affair figuring out a combination recognizing an image combining items moving statues figuring out passcodes even at one point messing with the formula of sudoku and binary codes it's an impressive combination though and the game touts the experts in this field are behind the design and that actually shines through here with a scale of location that I've not really seen in a real world venue to this point personally and I've been to a few of these now over the years always been a fan of the formula it just absolutely captures the experience in a video game form though the co-op creates that sense of teamwork and then the story adds the setting that we so often see in the real world counterparts for myself for example I've been to like a bunker location and also a submarine themed one on the positive things then, one final note here, more advice if anything, and this is actually what the game tells you as well, I absolutely agree, have a pen and paper to hand, it really helps, in my case I actually used the camera on my phone to take photos of my screen and used Word then to keep track of some of the more, let's say, demanding ciphers and almost image based puzzles that had me traversing a location before I could put them to use. Problems with the gameplay then, the controls as I mentioned are not perfect, they take a while to adapt to and they can be a little bit jittery almost as you search the cursor on screen. Also unlike a real location you can't interact with absolutely everything understandably so but you'll almost need to get used to that restriction. For example one of the opening locations me and Luke we were clicking on everything on a shelf unit and we quickly realised we got the same dialogue response every time it treated the whole shelf as just one item. It definitely does a great job basically of representing escape rooms but you do need to kind of wrap your head around the constraints of what is a digital variation. Overall though look we had a blast, I had actually more time solo and I still had fun there but it's an experience that you honestly may not want to escape too quickly because you will be having too much fun with it and that is especially true if you are playing in co-op where it absolutely shines. Graphically then it's not pushing the Xbox Series X that's for sure but it's still a good looking game, it's got a cell shaded almost style that goes for the world and the character models as well and those models particularly nice in that kind of over the top fashion the 4k resolution here looks really good though and it really elevates the vivid color palette that escape academy is rocking the variety in locations as well that is particularly impressive now would you notice much difference from xbox to xbox variation i doubt it honestly no doubt more the frame rate we did notice a couple of stutters ourselves here on occasion Nothing that really impacted the experience overall, they were minor but it is worth knowing. There was also some minor visual glitchiness though with shadows that I noticed they would almost pop in and out at times but again really had very little to no impact on the experience at all. Audio then, it's got voice acting that's suitably over the top, it's particularly entertaining when they're talking over an escape attempt, a highlight for me, a competitive escape that has you battling against another student. These are kind of race scenarios and they do a great job of elevating that tension even further because now it's not just a clock acting as your enemy. Music wise as well, a top quality, the music and sound comes from those behind Gang Beast and then the incredible hat trick of games here of Disc Room, Enter the Gungeon and Sludge Life. I'll be picking this one up on final if it gets a physical release, which I'm sure it will given the fact this actually comes from I Am 8 Bit and they are essentially specialists in that area. So the final verdict in Escape Academy blew past my expectations. I didn't go in honestly with this excitement for the concept, but seeing the attention put in here, we were having a blast from the opening moments 
and it rarely lets up on that tension. As two player co-op experiences go, it's definitely one of the better teamwork focused ones I've seen in a good time. But yeah, it's just a fun selection of puzzles with a constant sense of variety and then they use the theme of the Academy to introduce this likeable cast of characters, a narrative backbone and of course a really solid sense of humour. This is an easy one for me to recommend today though, even with its few minor problems and I hope this is now just the beginning because they seem to be onto a winning formula. As I said, I didn't want to escape and reach the end game, and that's probably the biggest compliment I can give it. A great 8 out of 10 from me today and a worthy addition to the library. Now, will you be checking this one out then? Let us know in the comments down below. With that though, like hit subscribe and join us here on Xbox Corner for reviews, deals and Game Pass breakdowns weekly. And we'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.